Hello and welcome back. So, I know I haven't posted anything in a while and uh, Steam's Next Fest is going on. I've been looking at this Oscar game for quite a while, so we're going to try out the demo for an episode. It comes out pretty soon, so if I like it, I might play a little bit more, but we'll have to find out. We'll start a new game. Demo run. Why not? Alright. So it does look like the... It's randomly generated, but it does look like you can run the same seed as other people if you need to. From what I understand about this game, is kind of a Viking... Uh, In the days before, oh, the wait. gods gave us the spark of ambition, which lit the fires of creation. They gave us a world of our own, a home. They made us builders, warriors, legends. They gave us everything. But our hubris overcame us. We thought ourselves to be gods instead. We tore apart their memory. And so we were punished. Everyone, everything cast into the fire. It's some of us were spared. To start again. Hello. So where I'm from, I understand this is a the Vikings uh, overall survival game, but there is like uh, village management. You can recruit NPCs out in the world, and they'll come to your village if you gotta, like take care of them. But they'll also help you out and like do some harvesting for you. But, uh, let's get on into this. Oh, he's just... Bye, sir? The, da the gods decree construct the Eye of Odin and rebuild your tribe. Now, so far there's two characters that you can start from that I've noticed. Uh, there's a girl and a male character. And each one has like different stats that you can run with. There is also a four player co op game. So, this will be interesting how all of this works. Hold our. Oh, I need a pickaxe. That's a Yoden shard. I'm guessing that was a Yoden that uh, came by. Oh, we have some kind of marker over here. Hello. Wisdom list. Help last friend. Press Z to find resources near you. The gods bless you with the ability to find important resources nearby. Use this regularly as it can also reveal nearby creatures. It can also be of help in the darkness. Oh, Scotty, I, I'm guessing gave me a boon. Uh, is there like a chest in here somewhere? Or are they just marking this for now? Oh, that's water. Okay. Looks like I have a water skin. Is there anything else I got? Oh, so I do have missions here. So I need to build a simple fire. I don't know how to really get into things. Uh, looks like press B to open the build menu. These primary seven villagers of the eye of remains of an ancient foe of the gods. Okay. So first things first is it wants us to build a fire. Oh, it's got a stun meter and a damage. Okay, interesting. Okay, I can zoom in and out of my middle mouse. Oh, there's a build last? That'll, that'll be nice. Then H activates my tutorials. Okay, so first things first, let's uh, build ourselves a fire. So we need six sticks and we need uh, four fiber. Uh, what 
you want. It's a little sprite. Press B to open build menu and build a simple fire. You can find it under the bushcraft category. Some fire burns out and disappears when the fuel is all used up. Okay, so it looks like these bushes can give me sticks. I don't have an X yet to harvest that. An axe. I don't know why I just said X there. Right, we need to find more bushes, I guess. Oh, I leveled up gathering? Oh, there's a level up system, it seems. Uh, let's go to our inventory. So we got all this, like, armor setups. Well fed, your strength slightly increased. Well hydrate, your stamina is slightly replenished. It's like we have skill proficiencies too, which is interesting. I'm sure we'll do a, we'll do an overview on those later. Still missing some supplies, so I need to go around and find sticks and fire where it looks like. Okay, so your, your swing animation gets pretty slow there when you run out of damage. Interesting. These, uh, these little guys are pretty, uh, pretty neat creations. Gives me this waste. What the hell is this waste do? I'm not really sure where I see these favors from. Oh, and I see a temperature. I just noticed the temperature meter down on the left, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Uh, you here to tell me about that? No, not about that part. I'll pin the campfire thing, because that's how you do quests, apparently. Guessing I need sticks. And we can pin the recipe with Q. Oh, G is my deeds. Okay. Oh, everyone has like their own deed. This is interesting. Yeah, so there's quite a bit of management, it looks like, mixed in with this. I rolled. The shift, the shift key is rolling, apparently. So tapping shift rolls, and holding shift sprints. Yeah, I already know that uh, little wisp dude. Right, let's build the campfire, and then we should get on to the next thing that it wants us to do for task. Oh, I still didn't get enough. I need two more sticks. What is a gathering level? to get me expertise of foraging and collecting resources from the natural environment. Uh, those are just XP multipliers? Okay. Alright, that one's done. Uh, build the improved fire. Is there an axe that we can make, actually? Uh, what do you need for stone axe? You need a stone blade, sticks, and a rope. Uh, we'll see if the wisp has something new to talk about before we head into that section. 
Uh, press T while looking at the simple fire to enter structure menu. From there, you can open upgrades, add on page to upgrade the simple fire to the campfire. Campfire can be reused if refueled. It also can withstand wind better than simple fire. However, rain and snow will put it put it out. So search for ways to upgrade it further. Oh. How to upgrade and create add-ons for the buildings. Upgrade or create add-ons for the structure. Dismantle the entire structure or add. Uh, okay, that didn't really tell me much. Except for, oh, one is the plus, two is the delete. Okay. So I want to upgrade this to a campfire. So I'll need six small stones and four sticks. Okay, so it highlights them. It's like it stays highlight highlight for about ten seconds, I'm assuming. I didn't even remember I can pin these things to uh campfire. A couple more sticks and two more rocks. Looks like our water meter is getting pretty low. Our food meter is doing all right by the looks of it. Okay, so that should be the six that we need here. Yeah, six small zones, four sticks. So I need to go find some more sticks out here. Looks like the night is falling, so it might be getting colder here, and we might have to worry about that as well. At least the game tells me when I'm collecting a resource what I get from the uh, thing I'm looking at. That'll be helpful... be a lot faster if I had created an axe, though, but the game hasn't taught me how to create an axe. So I kind of, like, put all the bushes down. The ping is very nice. I will give this game that. Water quest. I do wonder if there is a weight limit. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Gathering's all the way up to level 4, though. So that doesn't take long. But I'm still not seeing... I wonder if it makes it faster, or if it like gives you more resources while you're doing it. We should have enough materials to upgrade this into a proper uh, campfire. Beside the fire. Okay, uh, a little sprite, a little sprite. Are you anywhere nearby? Uh, it doesn't look like it, so we'll go ahead into our tutorial menu.
uh, are we? yeah, we're doing survival right now. So next up, we'll get a water collector going. Now we got our uh, campfire going. Long sticks found small trees, and then we need regular sticks. I am gonna try to figure out how to make an axe. So it's uh, crafting will probably do it. Learn the ropes. Uh, yeah, let's let's pin these two quests up here. So for our tools we need our axe. Uh still blade made from small nope, made from small stones, used to making stone tools and weapons. Found dwarven spruces by harvesting long sticks, using crafting tools, and then we rope. So I'm guessing rope is in here, and rope requires fiber. Alright. And stone blade takes two stone. And with that, we just need one stick, and we should all be set. I heard the sprite come by. Ah, uh, here he is. I've already done that sprite. Oh no, no I haven't. I'm, that's, that's what I'm currently doing. I misread that. Completed. That one's completed as well. All right, now we can chop down some of these trees. Oh, I can click R and hold R to harvest. Interesting. Oh, I have to chop it down, and then I have to chop into pieces. Okay. The temperature reading's a bit weird there from what I'm being able to see. Uh, okay, we got bark. Some resin. Long six, please. Oh, I have to carry long How many can I carry? Oh, I can only carry one long stick at a time. Looks like I can sprint kind of with them, but it does consume a crap ton of uh, my stay on the bar. Hoping I can build a sled, maybe?
Oh, I need to terraform this real quick and make it flat. Okay, how do I... I switch... Okay, if I switch to a different item... It'll switch that around. Okay, so we need to make a hoe. So in order to make a hoe, we need... Four sticks and two stone blades, so we're gonna need to go harvest some more stone blades, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna need to go harvest some more stone. Uh, what do you want, Wisp? Uh, you need a hoe to level the train and a wood hammer to build. Okay. That kinda makes sense, I guess? Is that a long stick just sitting right there? No, it's not. All right, we need to find some rocks here on the beach. Most of this video is probably going to be just completing some of these tutorials and setting up camps, just figuring out how stuff works here. We fought those little guys, which was interesting, but they haven't respawned, and I haven't seen like anything try to come at us yet. I need two stone blades. We need to make a hoe. Okay, we leveled the ground, and now we should be able to add our materials here. So we need one long stick, and then we need... Oh no, we te need two long sticks and six regular sticks. Okay. Oh, this axe is too weak for that. Okay. Oh, if you hold the R button, your character kind of moves automatically into position. Kinda of sucks I can't just carry two of these now. Maybe when I get stronger later on. Or maybe the male character can, because this character's strength stats are a little bit more. She's more of an agile character. From what I saw, if I remember right. Yeah, we need two of the long six, and then we need uh, six of the short sticks. Uh, what do you want, sir? I am working on that. So getting a water collector going is a uh, number one priority after food, and then we'll work on shelter. Even though I know in like actual survival mechanics, uh, shelter is a number one get it done. You can survive a good while without food, about three days without water. Resource ping does help so very much. That is a very nice feature. Uh, let's pick up this bark because who knows when we're going to need... Oh, it looks like I'm filled up on bark. Ooh, 
bird's nest. Feathers. I guess I'm going to need feathers to make arrows. I would assume. If I make arrows in most video games. Uh, oh, now I need to make a hammer so I can actually build the thing after I gather all the resources. I need two sticks to make a hammer. I'm sure this will be streamlined once I can actually like summon in the NPCs. Oh, why am I hurting? Is it because my food's so low? Wonder if that's why. Wonder if my food uh, stocks were just too low and it's starting to take damage. that's just two sticks to make a hammer. It's literally a stick inside of a log. <laughs> is that what the model of it actually- yes it is, it's literally just a stick shoved inside of a log. Wonderful. I'll get to you in a minute, Wisp. All right, we got a water supply. You're gonna tell me you build a shelter again? Yes, you are. All right, we got water, we got fire. very interesting seeing like everything has a step to it. It's not just all one go. You gotta work your way up. Oh, was oh that's the emotes. Uh, all right, we got. All right, we still got some long sticks here, which are good. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to see these at all without this uh, item scanner. I just love the stick inside of a log as your hammer. Most games is a rock on a stick. All right, now we need a bunch of stuff. We need two ropes. Can I make my two ropes just right now or do I need to get some more? Yeah, I got enough fiber to make my two ropes. Nice, we still got one long stick. Yeah, I'll get to you in a minute. I know what you're gonna say, probably. When holding R on a resource just immediately switches to that. You don't actually have to have it out. That's also nice.
Gotta say, I like resource harvesting mechanics so far. I am kind of curious how many sticks you get uh, from a long stick. So uh, we'll harvest this one and see how many pop out of it. I would guess four? If it's two, that's going to be kind of... Oh, it came out into a lot of bark. It must be random, so we got three sticks out of that. Oh no, we only got two sticks and the rest became bark. Wait, I took... I actually took damage. Huh. Right, we got three bark, and we need five more bark. Good thing I have plenty of bark just sitting around. That's kind of annoying, but it's also cool, I guess. I think I took damage from that. I mean, she did say out a splinter when I was building. So maybe as you like progress, your skills increase, so you don't hurt yourself from doing stuff. Water is my water collector. Is it only collect during rain? Rain collector. Do, do it. Oh no, I don't have an upgrade yet for it. Okay, so I don't have water from that. I know there's water on the ground from little deposits. This has an exclamation point on it, like it's a quest. A shelter menu? No, that just upgrades it. Oh, and you can assign workers from here, it looks like. I don't have workers. And I haven't been explained what housing points are yet. How about manage house villages that are already assigned to this household? They can be dismissed. Okay, I don't have anything for that part yet. So we'll just keep on going on with the... Uh, Building up the base, I guess. But exclamation point on it makes it seem like it's a quest. <sighs> While I'm sleeping, it looks like I heal. Okay, that's good. It doesn't look like time progresses faster. Because I'm looking at the clock up there, it's, just, it's still going like a second. Oh, let's wake up. I do feel energized now. Whatever the hell that does. Uh, your stamina is replenishing quickly. So I can hold one large item, I can hold quite a few medium items, and then I got small items. There you are, sir. To build the Eye of Odin. Ancient Archer will help you gather your tribe by using Yon's blood. You can activate and choose one of two villagers to summon. Enemies are drawn to its power, so the Eye of Odin is often a main focus of invasions. Protected as is the only way to summon your tribe. Uh, so probably don't put it near the base, but I'll probably put it on the opposite shore over this hedge. That way they're not just immediately being summoned to my base. Uh, 
three small stones, seven sticks, two long sticks. Uh, this might take a second for me to gather, so I'll make a little cut here and gather those resources. It'll be my first cut here. Pro might be the only one, too, depending on how all this stuff works. Okay, so I went and collected all the materials, and then I also, because I said that there's probably going to be a fight, I made a flimsy club using sticks and resin. So we'll see how much of a fight this is. And now we kind of have a proper weapon. Let's eat, see if that helps me a little bit. Now it looks like I still have the water bonus, but all right, let's build this thing and try to get our first settler. Maybe that'll help me, that probably will help me streamline the uh, building this place. I need two large stones. Now, okay. So I probably need to build myself a pickaxe. So we need two stone blades and one rope. Try to have enough material to make a rope. All right, then we need a couple more stones for our stone blades. Okay, this is going to take a while. Is there a smaller stone that I can break up? Is that stone or is that... No, that's still a small stone. A oh, bird's that's falling out of trees here. And there's a cloud symbol now. No, it it generally it generally does look like this is gonna this is gonna take an annoying while to harvest uh, a stone clump. Wait, maybe I'll. So you do get injured while doing this. Okay. It's annoying, but I like the trying to be kind of realistic. It doesn't do that much damage, it looks like. It's like a small status effect got applied for a millisecond, but nothing too severe. I do wish as this thing's like health bar deteriorated, pieces of stone would just plop off of it. Or they need to reduce these stone clumps' health by a greater march. Oh, never mind. I guess they do just pop off. <laughs> this big dumb dumb that I didn't realize it. Right, we got one. Uh. 
think of the little ones while I'm carrying the big one. I'm guessing this takes up the one... Yeah, this takes up the one inventory slot for the large. I really hope there's a sled I can make so I can carry more of these. Alright, so this might get into a fight. So this might be our actual first battle that we're going to come up on. Now we need to feed it uh, Yodin's blood. Uh, so we got Mighty Vigor, I possess excellent stamina and strength, allowing me to perform physical demanding tasks, external periods of time without fatigue. I lack physical strength for effective wood cutting. So we won't be much for wood cutting. Uh, I excel in the darkness, feeling a mood boost when active at night, and experience a mood penalty when awake during the day. I excel at breaking stones with this perk, ensuring a steady supply of stones, big and small. Uh, sure, let's take Roar, I guess. Since, uh, harvesting these stones is incredibly, uh, time-consuming. Okay, uh, ten minutes? Okay! That's a while. You'll be president with the option chooser if I want to... So, do I just have to defend this thing for 10 minutes straight? We just set to 5 minutes and... Okay, 10 minutes? God. I hope something does come to, like, entertain me for a while. Thor is beating his hammer. Find shelter. A storm is coming. I'm not seeing any assaults unless they literally do just go after my face. Oh, it is raining, though. Maybe the first one's not gonna invite an assault. Yeah, I'm not seeing any enemies approaching. Maybe the f this first one is free from assaults. So it won't go, won't go very far away, but let's start working on some of these other tasks. I can make markers. Basic production. Stone cutter pit, wood cutter pit, uh, gathers. I'm guessing uh, flint structure of the villagers that allows villagers to harvest stone can assign one worker. We rope sticks and long sticks, so let's make a stone court cutter pit since this guy will be uh, harvesting stone for us. And we will. I need to find like a bigger landmass to like store some of this stuff here. Uh, let's just throw you over here for now, and we'll work on you while he's uh coming in. He's going to be our stone cutter just based on that second perk he has. So let's pin this. We need four rope, four long sticks, and two regular sticks. I'm going to need more rope. I might as well collect the two long sticks I got prepared over here. I haven't tried the level out terrain tool actually. Uh, Grow tool allowing the fly out terrain, choose a point to use its height reference for the tool of the hoe. So, height reference. 
So if I click this, and I position this like this, Oh, that, that is an OCD person's dream right here. This train level one right here. Okay, so I can actually make like a really good base. Holy crap. I love that. How good is it though? Or right, wait, we're gonna test these limits here. So this was one right here. How flat? Will this just cut this mountain down to size here? I'm guessing because the rock's in the way. And I, oh, I could rotate it from the point that I dropped it. That is cool. I'm a fan. This is gonna make base building so good. How, how big is this map? I hope it expands further than this because this is not very big. Oh, it shows me where I've been editing out my flat land. Oh, there are filters you can put on the maps? Oh, crap. Now let's get back to, let's get back to building this while we're waiting for our guy. So we still need two more long sticks and then we need four rope. He says he's good at mining, but I'm probably going to have him harvesting wood since it seems like most of the stuff that I need to build is wood required. But it's good I got someone that's like super good at stone harvesting right away. Of course, I am playing the demo, so... But based on what I've seen so far, I'll probably get this... Once I start exploring, see how big this world actually is and what they have right now. This is something I'm definitely very interested in picking up and playing for the long haul. Ah, I got a splinter. Twice. I did... I swear they said that we were like gonna get attacked while I was summoning a person. I'm hoping it's just that the first one is free or maybe it's only if enemies are nearby. I don't need sticks, but you know, I'll take some more sticks. Can't have too many sticks. I don't need 
this thatch though, I need more f fiber. I mean, I don't think I can make, or is, can I use thatch for rope? my crafting, I don't know what the hell that means. Yeah, I don't need thatch, I don't need sticks, I need fiber. which I get from flax. All right, we got Roar. Uh, you are homeless, sir. Um, apparently. Let's go meet Roar. Won't be homeless for long, buddy. You can take the shelter I have built right now. Did not find any rope. <laughs> hello, sir. Hello, Roar. Your villagers are builders by default. They automatically start building any build spot site you place. To give them jobs other than builder, build a production building and assign them to it. Try building the woodcutter pit and assign the new villager to it. This will make him a woodcutter. To make him builder again, dismiss him from his current job. Okay, uh, what bonuses do you have besides the other thing? Uh, he does have morale, which I, what, on the trailer I watched, you have to manage that, or they'll just up and leave your camp. Uh, but he's a stonebreaker, a uh, shrimpy woodsman. So he eats more, but he's mostly good at mining. Heavy eater, heavy eater, I have increased strength, but I eat, tend to eat more. Uh, and he's a night person. This is such small font. I think it says escape for back and tab for details. Uh, so I can hide or show them. I do have my housing. So let's uh, assign worker. Assign. So he should be living in that house now. Yeah, so he's got shelter. Okay. Good. Uh, the problem is going to be food storage for him. Uh, yeah, you already gave me that. So I can trade with him, though. Uh, what is he starting with? So he starts with a stone axe, a woodsman hammer, and a wooden hoe, which is all he needs for that. And he's got a water pouch, which I also have a water pouch. I need to figure out how to fill this up. But just in case, we're going to give him food in his inventory that he can use if need be. Uh, speaking of that, did I get enough rope? Alright, we got rope. Actually, he's assigned to the shelter to live in, but he should still work. It's nighttime, so he should be working now? It's nap time. Oh, his issues are at nap time. 
guys work. Oh, these are his stat menus. Okay. I need more Jotun's blood, which I'm guessing is Jens. Oh, what? Oh, this guy actually. Oh, this guy respawned finally. It took him two days. Building's at 22%. He's not coming over to build yet. Oh, he's actually sleeping. Even though it says he's supposed to work better at night. Whatever. We'll, we'll finish building this. Uh, what? We're almost at an hour here. So we'll probably be calling this one soon. Let's just build this up and assign him to it. So, select task that you want to assign. Choose the village to perform the task. Uh, so, we are going to assign. So, he's got 12 in mining and 6 in woodworking. We're going to assign him to the stone cutters for. Uh, designate this area for harvesting stone. Oh! Okay, so these markers. Okay, show radius. That's a pretty decent sized radius. Can I move it though? No, it doesn't look like it. But this blue stone is in the harvesting radius, which gives me Yoden's blood. Which will allow me to summon another NPC. But I need to get, like, a food stores working. So I need to get woodworking food stores. I got water. I got the rain collector. Uh, we'll probably even this path out and make a proper village here. Um... Before we end this video, though, let's go to our tutorials and see what other objectives that we have as of right now. So this designates an area, so you got sticks and ropes for that, and eat all that. Um, kill a right, we haven't found a right, we haven't found a wolf. So all that stuff's a no-go for right now. I think right now just building and uh, food production will probably be a big one. So we'll also need some of the third villagers, so I'll need more things for that. And that'll probably be on our next episode. And then we'll work on farming. Uh, how are we doing on buildings, though? Build an add-on. How do I build an add-on? Also, there's a workshop pit and an altar. Let's pin all three of these and see if we can get this get this Odin basic building thing done before we uh. And we don't really have time for that though. I don't want this video going on for too long. Uh, build the wood, a wooden altar, uh, build an add-on and expansion. Uh, how do you... Must be placed on top of a natural water collector, provides large quantities of water. I guess I could build that somewhere as well. We got the rain collector. Cave entrance? Ah! <laughs> you gotta build those going to cave. Interesting! 
but what are these, uh... What kind of defenses are there? Kennels, barracks, archery range. Ow! Oh. There's actually quite a lot of stuff here. I do need water. It also doesn't seem like I'm getting sleep deprived. Other than that though. How do I build an add-on? That, that'll be the last thing we'll do for this episode, is building an add-on. If I go over to here... Oh, these are add-ons. Okay. So you build a fire cover. Then that, you need two sticks, two bark, four rope. Bark's gonna be easy to collect. All right, sticks, bark. So much bark right here. The rope is the only tricky part, because it doesn't seem like there's a lot of just thatch sitting around. Which is why I probably have to farm it. Here pretty shortly. I will say it is that weird that that guy has said that he, uh, does more work at night. But that does not seem to be the case. Also, goddamn, that gives you actually a lot of fiber. Five per plant. Okay, we'll make this add on, and then that'll complete that quest. And you have the uh, build a wooden. Wudon altar, not wooden altar, Wudon altar, and the uh, workshop hits. Yeah, I hurt myself. I'm hoping as you make more stuff, uh, it won't hurt as, as much. And then we got the uh, workshop pits that we need to make. And the wooden wooden altar right there. Which requires three large stones, six, nine small stones, and four logs. Uh, you need a wood shop pit to be able to build those though. Interesting. And a woodshot pit is going to take two, six, four ropes, so quite a few more resources. So, I think we'll end this one here since we're at a little past an hour right now. But this is definitely interesting, and this comes out, I believe, officially in five days. So, I'm definitely interested in thinking of picking this up but uh we'll end this episode here i hope you guys enjoyed it we got a villager figured out some stuff i'm guessing that was a yon that tossed us on the shore and then we'll be back to build the uh workshop pit and the wooden altar i'll probably gather all the supplies uh be a four episode and start that up and then we'll figure out what to do from there 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, definitely interesting. I like the building mechanics. I like the village mechanics. I'll have to play more to see how things uh, actually go. But anyway, that's it for this. Please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, later everybody.